Oh, that's really close to my face. Hello, everybody. It is me, Shireen, a.k.a. Arabic Witch Bitch. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera situated. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, today I'm doing an uncrossing. Um, and... <clears throat> So I did this video on my little camera thing, and to be honest with you guys, it is such a fucking pain in the ass to upload off that bitch that I'm just like not even gonna fuck with that no more. So if you guys don't like my little camera phone videos, then sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know, are you watching it for the quality of the video or are you watching it to learn? None of you guys complain, I'm just saying. My sister talks shit to me, she's like, I can't. I can't with shitty quality videos. She's a computer nerd, so you know. So, <clears throat> today I'm going to be working with the Archangel Michael. He's so beautiful. I love him. Um, and what I'm doing is an uncrossing, okay? So what you're going to need is a Archangel Michael candle. Okay, now for those of you who are not comfortable working with the angels or the saints, this is not the video for you. Okay, so seven day candle. Um, sea salt, chili powder, cinnamon, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. Alright, and I also have a special oil that I make specifically for Archangel Michael, and I have I, I have an oil that I make for my personal guardian angel, Uriel, um, and all the angels and saints have their own oil. So, I don't really give away the ingredients because that's between me and them, but you can do your research and find out what the angels, what each specific angel like. Now, like I said, I already... That is so weird. The shit moves on its own, I swear. Okay. Um... So, I already pretty much did this whole thing and on the other camera, um, but, so it's already dressed and everything, um, so I'm just going to basically explain how to do it really quick. Um, okay, so what you're going to do, I have my petition, okay, and I, this is to uncross somebody, this is for a client, okay, so I put his name, his date of birth, and it's basically a letter to Archangel, for me to Archangel Michael. Now, like I said, everybody writes petitions differently. I have a connection with the spirits, and I just write what I want. So, every, you do your research on how to write a petition. Me, personally, I put a name, birthday, and it's like a letter. I write a letter to whatever saint or spirit I'm working with. Okay, so, fold it away, put it underneath the candle. All right. So, you can also, if you want, write the name and date of birth on the candle. It's completely up to you. You could do both. It's up to you, like I said. My hair is all over the place. Anyway, so I have a special screwdriver that I only use for spell work, okay? You poke three holes going counterclockwise, all right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, okay? Each of these ingredients is good for uncrossing, okay? And it's also good for protection as well. Well, salt is good for protection. Um, cinnamon is good for protection. I also put, and this is optional, dried orange, okay? Because Archangel Michael loves oranges, all right? Don't forget that when you're working with the spirits, with any saint, with any angel, you know, any deity, you want to give offerings, all right? I promised you guys a video on offerings. Here I have a, um, a road opener incense burning, and I also have my cauldron, um, and I was burning some sage along with uh, all these ingredients. Now, like I said before, I told you guys, I'm a thug. I can burn pepper, I can burn all that shit, I can breathe it right in, and it doesn't bother me. But it will bother you more than likely. So, if you can't handle that shit, don't do it, okay? Um, so, <clears throat> now... All the ingredients, of course, I put them in my hand. You know, I've, I have my own way of empowering the ingredients. Use your own way, okay? So, um, I'm about to say, magic is not a science. 
It's magic, okay? Go based on how you feel, all right? You don't have to do things exactly how I do them, how anybody does them. Um, so what I do is each ingredient, I empower it, okay? You guys see how I empower shit. And then I put it in each one of the holes counterclockwise, all right? You don't want to drown your candle. Here, I'm showing you what mine looks like. You don't want to drown it. You don't want to put too much oil in a candle like this, and you don't want to put too much, you know, herbs in a candle like this, okay? It'll catch fire. It won't burn right, okay? So you're going to, you know, I use my nails. I scoop it up, put it inside each of the holes going counterclockwise because you're uncrossing, okay? Also, this is good for protection for future bad luck, future negative energies, okay? Um, it's said that you only need one of these to protect you for a whole lifetime. I personally uh, don't believe that. I believe everything needs to be refreshed every now and then. But um, it's perception's reality when it comes to magic. So whatever you believe, you manifest. Okay. Um, so after you've dressed your candle, okay, you put each of the herbs. I'm gonna go over them again. Sea salt. People ask me to put my ingredients in the description. Um, maybe I will one day, but probably not. Um, sea salt, cinnamon, chili powder, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and dried orange, which I, you know, is optional. Now, um, like I said, this is a special oil I make specifically for Archangel Michael. I actually got to make more. Um, you can use just regular olive oil. Olive oil is very good for protection. You can use grapeseed oil. You can use any oil. I'm partial to olive oil, just in general, because I'm Palestinian. Um, we're the land of the olive trees. Anyway, um, I know I promised you guys a curse video, which I am going to deliver. But I'll have you guys know, uh, for those of you who were in my live video the other day and saw the whole thing that I was talking about with the guy that was uh, harassing me and everything else, um, turned out it was the same guy that Ashira dealt with. It was the same guy. I actually spoke to Ashira, and yes, it was him. Now, he was actually watching, just like I told you he was, and he... Uh, had he called me and basically apologized profusely um, for all the shit that he said. Now, mind you, I will never be his friend. I will never do work for him. I will never communicate with him. Nothing. And it was very smart of him to apologize to me because I was fixing to fuck him up. Especially you talk about my mother. Like, boy, you got like fucked up. But. I am a very forgiving person, um, and if it wasn't for the fact that his life is already completely fucked, like, he don't need no extra cursing. Now, I can't speak for Ashira, but, um, you know, the guy's life is fucked up as it is. So, um, you know, I am going to do the curse video, but uh, I'm not going to actually curse him. Now... Let it be known, uh, just because I forgave, just because I forgive, doesn't mean I forget, okay? Um, he was practically, you know, he was falling all over himself apologizing. He was practically in tears, okay? So, uh, you know, I ain't one to fuck with. Don't get it twisted. But when somebody's mentally unstable, you know... Not that they can't be held accountable for their actions, because they can, absolutely. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, what else was I going to say? I'm going to be doing some more videos. So, I have that curse video that I'm going to do. Um, oh, and anyway, before you curse anybody, you should probably give yourself a little time to cool off, Okay. Um, besides, if I curse a motherfucker, they're fucked. Like, I will put him in the ground. Seriously. So, his dick would have never worked again in his fucking life. I guarantee you that. So, I try not to curse people unless it's for a damn good reason. And although, yes, that was the biggest fucking mistake 
ever talking about my deceased mother ever saying anything but like I said he's not mentally all there I don't think um so but let's put it this way I don't really have to curse someone for them to be cursed um the spirits kind of got my back regardless just because I forgave him not forgave him but just got over it so he apologized doesn't mean that they will there's been a lot of times where somebody fucked with me and they apologize and I got over it. Because I'm Sagittarius. We forgive very easily. Um, but the spirits didn't. So, that being said. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, oh, let me read this prayer too. So, after you dress the candle, I kind of go off subject. After you dress the candle... And before you light it, you're going to pray this prayer. Saint, uh, la, la, la. Okay. Saint Michael the Archangel. He just kicks me. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander throughout the world for the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Lesson of how this candle to uncross and protect him from any future hexing negative energy open up the roads to allow him to flourish and thrive so I'm gonna say that prayer nine times and every day while this candle is burning I will say the prayer at least three times um, and focus my energy into it all right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you all for get, you know being so supportive and just being amazing. I love you all. Thank you, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Toodles, bitch.